Hey, second grade, and welcome to part two of last week's lesson. So last week, we started our problem solving unit, and there we met Tiana and Connor. And if you remember, Tiana and Connor were having a bit of a problem with a group project they were working on. Last week, we talked about the very first problem solving step, which is S, and that is saying the problem without blame. This week, we are gonna work on the other three problem solving steps, T, E, and P, to help Connor and Tiana solve their problem. Before we get into that though, let's take a look at our problem solving poster, just in case we need a little reminder on what these steps mean. So the good thing is the problem solving steps spell out step. So it's really, really helpful in remembering which order they go in. So the one we worked on last week, the first one is S and that is saying the problem without blame. If you remember last week, Connor and Tiana were blaming each other using words like he never, she always, because of you, I. And words like that tend to make people angry. We don't like being blamed. And a lot of times when someone blames a person, that person blames them back. And in the case of Connor and Tiana, those two are going back and forth. And if problem solving Anthony didn't step in, I don't know if they would have ever have solved that problem. So when we say the problem without blame, think, what do we want or what do we need? And that can help us come to the problem without blaming the other person. All right, so that's S. The next step is T, think of solutions. So once you know what the problem is, the solutions are, how can we solve this problem? And there are lots of different ways to solve a problem. But when looking to solve, we wanna make sure the solution is safe so nobody gets hurt and respectful. We want to, it to be fair for everybody involved. Okay, so you S, say the problem without blame. T, think of solutions. After you pick some solutions, you wanna explore the consequence. A lot of times people think consequence in negative, like a punishment if you do something wrong. But there's positive consequences too. A consequence is simply what can happen if I do this? What's the good? What's the bad? How are people involved going to feel about it? So we wanna make sure that everyone is gonna be happy or as happy as they can be. And then after you E, you want to pee, not the bathroom. Picking the best solution. What is going to make everyone involved as happy as they can be? And today we are going to T, E, and then pick the best solution for Connor and Tiana. So here they are, if you forgot, this is Tiana right here, and this is Connor. Does anybody remember what their argument was about? Well, they were working on a poster board and they were almost done and they were working on the title. And if you remember, Tiana wanted to use the color red for the title and Connor, well, he wants green. So they were going back and forth. They were getting kind of angry at each other. They were being mean to each other, calling the other person's color dumb. Motions were high, motions were big. Problem solving, Anthony came in. Do you remember the first thing he made them do? Stop, name the feelings and calm down. Cause we know if our brains are going like this, we're gonna have a hard time solving the problem. So the two calmed themselves down and problem solving Anthony told them what is their problem without blame. So we know they each want a different color for the title. Okay, so that is S. They want a different color for the title. Now we're gonna T, E, and P. So the next step in that is to think of solutions. Okay, there's a lot of different solutions. For this one, what can Connor and Tiana do so that they can figure out what color to use for the title? We are going to watch the video of Connor and Tiana coming up with different solutions. Remember, we want our solutions to be safe so nobody gets hurt and respectful. It's fair for everybody involved. So listen to their solutions and think about, is that safe and is that respectful? You're both able to say what the problem is, right? To do that, you've included both of your wants. We both want to use different colors for the title of our poster. No fault, no blame. Let's go on to the next step. T, think of solutions, safe and respectful solutions. So this is the fun part. Think of as many ideas as you can. I guess we could 
it ain't strong, poster. But Miss Nelson wants us torn to work with the partner. We could agree on a different color. I know. We could toss nuggets in the air, and whichever lands on the poster is one we use. But what if we hit someone on the head? Mm, maybe that's not too safe. What if we use both colors for the title? This is some good thinking. Tiana and Connor, you're using your brain. You've got a lot of ideas. I like that in a second grader. So I think Connor and Tiana came up with some really good ideas. And we are going to look a little bit further into those ideas and solutions that they came up with. I made a little chart on my whiteboard here. Oh yeah, it does show. Okay. So we would do something like this in class if we were together. So at the very top right here, we see S and that is saying the problem without blame. And we know the problem was Tiana and Connor want to use different colors for the title. T, remember what T is? Think of solutions safe and respectful. So I wrote down three of the ones that T Connor and Tiana came up with. They did have the other one about throwing markers up into the air. Do we think that's safe? Probably not. Someone could get hurt. So um, solution number one, uh, they said they restart and they each do their own project. So that was one solution they came up with. Solution two, forget red and green. They are going to decide on a totally different color. And solution three is alternate both colors in the title. I think those are three pretty great ideas. Now we're going to E. Look a little further into that and explore the consequences of those solutions. So if they choose that, what could happen? What is something good? What is something bad? How are they both going to feel? So for the first solution, they restart, they re totally restart and they each do their own project. If they do that, what could happen? Well, E, they both get what they want, right? They can each use their own color. But a negative is they aren't doing what the teacher asked them. And they said it too. They might not have enough time to even finish. They're almost done with this project. So that would be a positive and a negative consequence of that decision. Decision number two, decide on a different color. No red, no green, something else. So a consequence, well, they might be in the exact same situation. Maybe Tiana wants orange and Connor wants yellow and then they can't decide between those two and then they're back in the same boat of arguing. The third solution, they alternate both colors in the title. So they use both red and green. Maybe every other letter is one of those colors. So E, a consequence of that, a positive consequence, is they both get what they want. And I think the title might look pretty cool with them being alternated and both red and green. Okay, so we S said the problem with that blame. T thought of three different solutions on how to solve the problem. And remember, there's a lot more that there could be. We're just picking three. E, explore the consequences. So what can happen if they choose either of those decisions? What's some good that can happen? What's some maybe not so good? How are they going to feel? The last one is P, pick the best solution. So the best solution is the one that's going to make both Connor and Tiana as happy as they can be. So something that's fair for both of them, not just one of them, but both of them. So we have two other videos to watch actually. And what we are gonna see in this next video is Connor and Tiana doing what we just did. So I wrote down the solutions that they picked and we looked at the consequences, the good and the bad. So we're gonna watch Connor and Tiana do that exact same thing. So let me get back there. Here we go. So listen to how they're talking um, and, and see how it goes. So, we've definitely got some safe and respectful solutions going on. Let's go to the next step. E is for explore, as in explore the consequences. You know, like what could happen. So, what is the good stuff and the bad stuff in these solutions? 
If we each do our own poster, then we might not be able to finish them today. And if we try to agree on different colors, then we might start arguing again. But if we use both colors, then we can each have the color we want. That sounds good. Okay. So there we just saw them go through. How would they feel with the solution that they picked? And notice too, when each of them were saying how they would feel, the other one wasn't being mean to them. They weren't making fun of them. They had empathy. They were listening to the other person's point of view and putting themselves in their shoes. We all need empathy to successfully solve a problem because when we solve a problem, we're working together. Okay, so we S said the problem without blame. We T'd, we thought of some different solutions. We E explored the consequences to that solution. And then P, now we're going to pick the best solution. So let's take a look again at our chart. So here's the three solutions. They were start and used to do their own project. They decide on a totally different color instead of red and green or they alternate, which means switch up the colors in the title and they use both red and green. Which solution do you think they are going to pick? What do you guys think is the best? We're gonna find out with our last video. So let's see what Connor and Tiana decide. I think you're ready for the last best solution. What do you think? What would work best? I think we should do both colors for the title. We can do one red letter, then one green letter, or make them green and red stripes. Personally, I like science. Or green with red polka dots. Yeah, this is the best idea. Yeah. Awesome. I think Connor and Tiana did an excellent job solving this problem. And not only do they, I think that they did an excellent job, but I think their poster looked great with the red and the green and the different shapes that they put into it. So three cheers for Connor and Tiana. Of course, I know sometimes solving a problem doesn't always work out this easily, right? Depends who you're working with. It depends on what the problem is. But when it comes to problem solving, we have to remember this. We are working together to solve a problem that will make us both happy, right? So really problem solving is teamwork. You're trying to come to a conclusion together. And with teamwork, we need to have that empathy. We wanna be calm, cool, collected and go through these problem solving steps. We can work together to come up with the best possible solution. All right, you guys, that's all I have for you today. Next week is lesson 19 already, and we are going to have all new characters and a totally new problem to solve. So make sure you bring your problem solving hat because we're gonna need it. Before we go, I have your problem solving song that of course we're going to listen to. It's the Step Up music video. Enjoy it and I'll talk to you guys later. <laughs> using this
things you can try. We could take turns or try your goals some other time. Yeah. Ooh, how those things you think might go. If we do this or that, it could work, don't you know? Yeah. It's picking out the choice of what's the best. Step it up and you will see you won't be stressed. Step in what you do when you have a problem you gotta solve. Step up. Here's what you do when you have a problem you gotta solve. Step up. Step up. Step up, and I'll see you guys later.